Hello? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I got something in my throat. <clears> throat> Definitely need a cup of tea. <laughs> a tea and a talk. Let's do that. So I often get a question when people find out that I'm Irish pagan. And that question is often, what does that even mean? <clears throat> well, I think there's a few universal pagan. I don't like to say rules because paganism is not all about rules. It's about having oneself and what's inside of yourself. But there are some things that we all share, whether you're Irish or Norse or Germanic or whatever kind <clears throat> of Paganak you are. So being an Irish pagan, well, obviously, I come from Ireland. My home is in County Monaghan. My ancestors are from there. Big Irish family. <clears throat> and we go back, well, as far as we can record, we go all the way back to, uh, according to one of my family surnames that we are descended from, Finn McCool, which is awesome. He had children, so they're somewhere out there. And apparently... My, one of my family branches is a part of that. But anyway. <clears throat> so to be Irish pagan, you basically are Irish. You either were born there, you either descend from there. Or you could have been born there in another life. And you have this unbelievably strong desire to, to hold her to hold Mother Ireland, to touch her, to... You're always drawn back to her for some unknown reason. You don't got a drop of Irish blood in you, but you, for some reason, are so drawn to her and her history and her language and her culture. And, of course, the, an Irish pagan is one that delves into the Irish deities, the Irish um, gods and goddesses, okay? There is a rule, there, not really a rule, like I said, I don't like to say the word rule, but there is, there is a commonality between all pagans, and that is to not really worship, but to honor and to seek the advice of our ancient ones, of our ancient goddesses and goddess, gods and goddesses, excuse me, to seek their intervention, to seek their wisdom, to seek their love, to seek their protection. And also, ancestors. We all carry the memories of our ancestors. Sometimes we know things and we wonder how we know them. Sometimes we have memories that we'd never understand why we have them. Could it be your ancestors that are inside of you? Your ancestors are not gone from this world. They're here with us. They're here to protect us in many different forms. And they're here to protect us, guide us, teach us. They're never gone. And ancestors are revered in paganism. And if you want to use the word worship, so be it. I remember once I had a Jehovah Witness come to my door and right away he scorned me for having a picture of my grandparents on the wall. And I, I really didn't know, know what to think. But I was told I was wrong for that. Well, whatever. I'm not. We also believe that the divine, whatever, 
wisdom that Mother Earth gives us, whether whatever wisdom our ancestors give us, whatever wisdom that gods and goddesses give us, is already in us. We have the ability to heal ourselves, to do so many things. We don't live a life where we, we can't have any success or progression unless a god, a single male deity like the Christians, that everything is only possible through this God. Well, we have it within us in pagan beliefs. Those gifts are already in us. We have the power to manipulate energy. We have the power to heal ourselves. We have the power to do these things. By many resources, male, female, intersexed, it doesn't matter. Celts, especially Irish Celts, are a lot like the Native American pagans, the Native American tribes, who believed in equality for everybody. That a gay person was just as important, and if not even more important, than other people within the tribe. People were revered. There was no judgment. You don't hear about our gods and goddesses killing people because they're punishing them. You don't hear about us going to war because of gay people or transgender people or people of a different skin tone. We didn't do that back in the ancient days. We had our rows and we had our fights. But the jargon that is taught in so many ways in the, in the new religions, not the old like ours, so many of the jargon that is taught, it's not healthy. I know from where I come from because I know I was raised Catholic. I was born and raised a Catholic. But I didn't agree with what it said. I didn't agree with what the priest said. I didn't agree. I always had an affinity for nature. I, I, I didn't understand when a priest or somebody in the in the church said that animals didn't have a spirit. How can animals not have a spirit? They love and care more for each other and us than quote unquote humans care about each other. And also a great, great principle of paganism is Mother Earth. She gives us a life the moon, the stars, everything, the, the dirt, the plants, all around us. We have our sacredness. We have the sacred that the earth, that Mother Earth gives us. And I myself call her Danu. So anyway, I have my tea. And I'm going to go enjoy that. So I just wanted to give you some principles. Earth our ancestors, our great teachers, our deities, our goddesses and gods. Our ability to, to, to have it within us. That, to me, is what makes a pagan, especially an Irish pagan. Slan lot. Bye.